Come on, they, they want the entertainment, they want the, they want the gospel singing, and they want the good food and eating yeah. and all that good stuff, yeah. but they don't want to spend no time at his feet. Right. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. That's where the answer is. Come on. That's where the key is, sir. Yes. Is that Jesus' at feet, honey? That's where we're going to find the answer that we need where we're, where we're going through in life. Amen. I don't have the answer, but I can tell you where the answer is at. Honey, it's at his feet. If we'll get down and we'll worship him and we'll call upon him and we'll praise him, honey, we'll find yes. what we need tonight. Amen. Amen. I don't know what tomorrow holds. Amen. But I do know who holds tomorrow. Amen. And his name is Jesus. And we need to spend some time at his feet. Amen. Yeah. I was praying today. I was sitting outside and waiting for Nancy. She was in the doctor's office. And the Lord gave me this message. Spend time at his feet. Amen. We need to spend more time. Brother David, I'm preaching the field tonight. Amen. I don't spend enough time at his feet. Amen. I don't spend enough time praying and seeking his will. Amen. I'm too wrapped up in Bill's will. Amen. Bill's will ain't going to do no good. Amen. But I get in his will. Amen. Even if it's in the valley. The brother was thinking about. True. This valley for me. Oh. Said I'm in his perfect week. Yes. I mean, in that song. I mean, oh, hallelujah. If I gotta be in the valley, brother David, oh, if I gotta be right in the middle of the storm, oh. as long as I'm in his will, oh. honey, that's where oh. I want to be. Oh. I gotta be in the valley. And in his will, and then on the mountaintop and out of his will. Come on, Amen. Hallelujah. Right. We gotta spend some time. Absolutely. At his feet. Amen. Yeah, exactly. If you got your Bibles, turn with me to Mark. I'm sorry, Matthew. Man, I roll all kinds of notes down up there, sitting up there in that car, and I've got them scattered there which way. I don't know where we end up. We're going to end up somewhere, amen. Amen. Right. Go ahead. Matthew, 15th chapter. Let it rip. Hallelujah. When you get it, say amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Matthew 15 to 29. Amen. amen. All right. I guess I ought to see where I'm going then. Amen. Finish it up. It says that Jesus departed from. There and came down unto the Sea of Galilee mm -hmm. and went up into a mountain and sat down there. All right. and, a, and a great multitude came unto him, having with them those that were lame, blind, dumb, maimed, Come and on. many others, and cast them down at Jesus' feet. Oh, amen. And healed them all. Right. And so much that the multitude wondered. Come on. When they saw the dumb to speak, and the name to be up, the main to be whole, and the lame to walk, and the blind to see. They glorified the God of Israel, honey. Oh, yeah. that, the answer was that Jesus is feet. Come on. Amen. When they got to him, when they got all the, when you get, oh hallelujah, when Come you on. got troubles in your life, Come amen. On. When you got sickness in your life, the Come answer on. to the feet, amen. Yeah. It ain't at some doctor's office, amen. I thank God for doctors, yeah. and I know doctor God uses doctors, amen. Right. But the answer is still at Jesus is feet, yeah. honey. Yeah. If we'll yeah. spend time at His feet and get in His will, Come amen. On. Let Him take care of everything, brother Billy. Everything's gonna be all right. Yes, sir. Amen. amen. We're so busy that we want to run to everything else first. Right. Yeah. Amen. That's the truth. We'll run to the doctor before we pray. Come on. Right. Amen. Come on. We better pray. Yes, sir. Then you go to the doctor. Amen. Come on. That's but right. you better pray. Amen. Get at Jesus' feet, honey. Right. That's for the answer. See, y'all, I know y'all. Oh, I'm going to get ahead of myself. I ain't careful. Amen. Oh, but that's where the key is. Yes. It's at the feet of Jesus. Come on right. to Mark, the fifth chapter. Yes. I'm about to get my man slided here. Come on. Amen. Amen. There's something stirring in here tonight, Come brother. On. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I can't help get excited. Amen. When I feel it, it's anointing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You say, well, we ain't got no great big. We got a pretty good crowd. Amen. Come on. Come on. We may not have the biggest crowd in the world, but honey, it don't take the big crowd. Well, that anointing takes place, honey. That's what's stirring. Amen. I can preach about the crowd, but I can't preach about the anointing. Amen. Hallelujah. And I thank God for that tonight. Amen. Mark 5. Starting at the 22nd verse. I think. 21st verse. Mark 5, 21. And when Jesus was passed over again by a ship unto the other side, right. many people gathered unto him, and he was nigh unto the sea. And behold, there came one of the rulers yes. of the synagogue. Jared by name. And when he saw him, he fell at his feet. Yes. He exalted at him greatly, saying, My little daughter lies at the port of death. I pray thee come and lay 
thy hands on her, that she may be healed, yes. and she will live. Oh, yes. And Jesus went with him, Praise and much people followed him, crossing him. Now here comes this next story. Y'all all know it. Yeah. Yeah. While Jesus was going, yeah. as he now fell at his feet, while Jesus was headed that way, right. there come a woman. Yeah. Come on. With the issue of blood. Right. Yeah. Amen. She had it for 12 years and she done tried all them doctors. Right. Amen. She done spent all her money. Right. Yeah. Couldn't find an answer. Right. Yeah. And the Bible says that when she heard about a man named Jesus. Come on. Right. When she heard that somebody could touch her, somebody could heal her, and she could get a hold of him. Come Amen. On. She 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 pressed through the crowd. Right. To get to Jesus. Amen. And where did she get to, Brother Dave? Come on. At the hem of his garment, and down at his feet. Amen. She got down at his feet, amen, right down to the bottom of the hem of the garment. Amen. And she touched him. All right. And Jesus felt some virtue go out of him, Brother David. Right. Come on. And he asked his disciples, said, Who's touching me? Come on. Yeah. And the disciples said, What do you mean who touched you? Everybody's touching you. Yeah. Amen. And no doubt, Brother Billy, there were people probably slapped him on the arm. Yeah. Right. And on the shoulders and on the back yeah. and everywhere yeah. else touching him. Come amen. On. But she touched him with something special. Come on. She touched you. She touched you with something that's the only way you're going to get what she touched you with is at his feet. Come on. She touched you with that. She touched you with that faith. Come on. Yeah. But she knew when she heard. See, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. When she heard that there was somebody to heal her, amen, she put her faith in action and she had it for the one that could do the job, amen. And she got out at his feet and she touched him. Right. And the Bible says she was made whole. Exactly. Amen. 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 Somebody put on Facebook the other day, Brother David. I got a Facebook page. And you can go on and look at it. Anybody wants to can. I, I promise it's all about Jesus. Oh. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Somebody put on there to ask for prayer. And another person come on there and said, We got a healing preacher. Yeah. Gonna be in our church Friday night. If you can get here, you can get healed. Praise the Lord. Oh my. I said, That's good. I get it. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. But that preacher can't heal you. Come on. Amen. Come on. Jesus is on what I promise, I believe with all my heart, Brother Billy. That multitude that was following Jesus. Come on. Boy. When that woman that issue blood had to get to him. Come on. Some of them folks were probably preachers. Come on. And no doubt she probably had to knock a few of them out of the way just to get to him. Yeah, come on. Honey, sometimes you gotta yeah. knock the preachers out of the way to get to Jesus. The preacher ain't got, I, I've heard people say if, oh, if, they, if they could get to many him. Come on. Honey, yeah. many him can't heal you. Right. Come on. Jesus is the only one can heal you. Yeah. God uses these people to it up. Come on. I mean, I ain't gonna say God don't use them, amen. He uses ministers, amen. Yeah. But Jesus it's the one that does it either. Too many preachers want to take credit for it. Come on. Right. Yeah. I know y'all remember, I don't know how this just comes to me anyway. Y'all know y'all remember the story right about the lame man laying at the gate? Yes. The preacher and John went up to him. Yes. They told him, still wasn't told him, I knew. But yeah. such as I have, he gave him, yeah. him Jesus. And he come oh. up, he took him by the hand, and he leaped. Yeah. Come on. Amen. And was healed. Yeah. Come on. Then all the people come around yeah. and want to give Peter and John credit. Yeah. yeah. Come on. Peter Johnson, wait a minute. We didn't do it. Come on. The one that you crucified. Oh. The one that you turned your back on. Yes, He's the one that lifted yeah. him up. Amen. How many preachers want to take credit for it? Eh? Honey, the credit don't belong here. Does God use vessels? Sure he does. Amen. I thank God for it. Amen. But we ain't the ones to take the credit. I mean, all the glory belongs to oh, him. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. All the glory belongs yeah. to him. And it's all at the feet of Jesus. Amen. Come on. Amen. That's this woman. She heard about Jesus. The Bible says she went to her. Yes. Amen. We all come but the blood of the Lamb. Come on. And the word of our testimony. Yeah. Somebody told her. Yeah. Somebody had a testimony. Right. Come on. Brother David, I was laying in my bed last night. And God, y'all gonna think I fell out of way on this, and I know you are, but I'm gonna tell you anyway. Amen. God put this in my spirit. All right. Come on. Of all the testimony, and you read you can read through this Bible, and it's full of yeah. You can read about how God delivered them out of fire furnace. Yeah. You can read about how he delivered Daniel yeah. out of the lion's den. Right. You can read about how he healed this woman right. of the issue of blood. Come yeah. on. And you can go all the way over to Revelation where the Bible ends. Amen. Yeah. But his testimony is going to stop there. Come on. Do you know, and this is what I give to me, y'all probably gonna think I fell out of way. Do you know your testimony is just as important as Paul's was? Come on. All right. Yeah, I believe it. Yeah. Your testimony is just as important as Peter's was. Come on. Yes, sir. Come on. There were people that probably got saved by Paul's testimony. Come on. Yeah. 
But there can be people get saved. Yes. By your yes. testimony. Yes, amen. I mean, that's the reason the devil fights so hard. He don't want you to give a testimony. Oh. He don't want you to tell what God has done for you, amen. Oh. Because somebody's sitting there oh, going great. through the same battle that you already been through. Oh. Honey, you got to answer because faith comes yes. by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Amen. That's what your testimony is. It's what God done for you, amen. Oh. Hallelujah. That's, that's your testimony. What God amen. done for you. Come on. Right. Amen. Come on. Your testimony is just as important. Right. Is he the one in here? Right. When he said Lazarus come forth, come on. When he come up out of that tomb, don't you know Lazarus had a heck of a temple? Oh, oh yeah. Right. <laughs> but Brother Bill, what he said, come on. Brother Bill, I forgive you, oh. and I come out of that old dead sin. Come on. What are you talking about having a testimony? Oh. Honey, I got one too. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. And Lazarus, they don't want to got a testimony. I got a testimony. Come on. Come on. Amen. Come on. Hallelujah. But I was just a dead sin, was not dead. Come on. Amen. Like Billy was talking about earlier, yeah. you can die of cancer. Right. Yeah. <laughs> but if you die by Jesus, no. you're in trouble. Yes. Amen. 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 You can go, you can die and go to heaven right. with cancer. Yeah. Of course, the cancer is going to leave before you get to heaven. Right. Right. But that could cause you to die and go there. Yeah. Right. Amen. But you can't die and go to heaven yeah. without Jesus. Come on. Because he said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father no but by me. Amen. No other way. Hallelujah. And it's all what Jesus is speaking. Yes. Come on. Amen. And Luke. The 10th chapter. You'll find a story. Y'all all, all familiar with it, I'm sure. Luke 10 and 38. If you want to read it, but I'm going to try to just preach through it. Jesus comes to Mary Martha's house. And then, and Martha was busy fixing food, taking yeah. care of the master. Yeah. Amen. But Mary was spending time in Jesus. I'll go ahead and read it. Let's read it. Amen. And I'll probably mess it up. So now it came to pass that they went. It's in uh, Luke the 10th chapter, 38 verse. Find it. Luke. Yes, sir. Luke 10, 38. Okay. Amen. Now it came to pass that they went that he entered into a certain village, and a certain woman named Martha received him into her house. And she had, she had a sister called Mary, which also sat at Jesus' feet and heard his word, sitting at his feet. Oh, yeah. But Martha was about, about was serving, and came to him and said, Lord, does thou not care that my sister had left me to serve alone? Bid her, therefore, that she help me. And Jesus answered and said unto her, Martha, Martha, thou art concerned, careful, and troubled about many things. Yes. But one thing is needful. Oh, <laughs> and Mary had chosen the good parts which shall not be taken away from her. Amen. One thing is needful. Yes. That's been in just time at Jesus' feet. Yes. Honey, you can come to church all you want to come, and you can act as holy as you think you want to hold. Right. hold it. But if you ain't spending no time with me, honey, you ain't got no relationship with me. you got to have a per oh, this is, this is a personal relationship. Yeah. Honey, you got to have that relationship with Jesus Christ, and you ain't going to make it. Amen. we got to spend some time at His feet, church. Yeah. Amen. we got to get closer to Him. Amen. Right. we got to get closer to Him. That's the truth. Amen. Right. This ain't no great big battle to get there. Jesus oh. doesn't pay the price, amen. He right. died on Calvary. All he's looking for is somebody to obey. Yeah. Somebody to serve him, amen. Right. Brother David, I told this here before. God gave it to me here a while back. I got to thinking about how everybody is uh, trying to figure it all out. Yeah. They got all different kinds of books. Right. And they're trying to figure the Bible out, trying to figure out what's going on. We don't have to figure it all out. Come on. We don't have to need to know it all. Amen. Right. All we got to do is follow him. Come on. I told him when Noah went out to build that ark. Right. He didn't know what an ark was. Right. Come on. Yeah. Jesus told him to build an ark. He went out and started building it. Right. Yeah. And no doubt, Brother David, there were probably some of his friends coming around and said, Noah, what are you doing? Yeah. yeah. He said, I'm building an ark. Yes. The friends probably said, What's an ark? And Noah said, I don't know. <laughs> so what are you doing building it? It's going to rain. Yeah. What's rain? Yeah. It never had rain. Right. I don't know. Yeah. All I know is God told me to do it. Come on. All I know is that He gave me the blueprints. Amen. Whoa. And He told me to pitch it in and He told me to pitch it out. Honey, oh. He laid it all out for me. And all He wants me to do is obey. Come and on. if I obey Him and do what He tells me to do, everything's going to be all right. Yeah. 
And because the young lady, Brother Billy, what would have happened if Noah hadn't went by the destruction? Right. Yeah. When they told him to pitch it out, what if he pitched it in? Yeah. Yeah. When that rain came, that boat wouldn't have blown. Come on. Amen. Amen. Would the Lord give us some instructions? Right. Come on now. Amen. And it's from Genesis to Revelation, amen. And they ain't right. taking no parts out. He told us how to build a life upon this, amen. Come and on. we'll build upon this in the stand. But yeah. honey, if we start taking things out of it and throwing stuff aside that we don't like this part, we don't like, we're going to go over the side. Oh. Honey, when it comes, the boat ain't going to float. Come on. Amen. We better be ready to meet him, amen. We got to spend right. time at his feet. A lot of people, I've heard people say, but I can't understand that King James Version. Amen. There's a lot of it in there. I don't understand, Brother David. All right. Come on. Amen. We're not supposed to understand it all. Come on. Amen. Come it's on. when when his spirit connects with it, that's when you understand it. Amen. Come on. He's got to reveal it to you, Brother David. Amen. Come on. This thing's alive. Amen. Yeah. I preached, I've been preaching for a while now, and I preached on some of these scriptures several different times, and he gave me different messages every time, Brother David. Right. Amen. Amen. Good. And it's all good. Amen. Yeah. It's a lie. True. And it does something. But you got to have that spirit to go with the word. Amen. All word and no spirit will do you no good. That's yeah. right. All spirit and no word will do you no good. But if you can get them together. Come on. If you can get them together. Amen. And the only way you're going to get it is spend some time. All right. And speak. True. The only way you're going to get what the church needs to hear. There's, and there's people, and there's places on the internet you can go on there and you can get you a quick fix message. Come on. All right. Amen. For the preacher, I think it says for the preacher on the go. Oh yeah. You can get your message. They'll frame it right up there for you. Amen. But it won't be the message the church needs. Come on. Right. If you're going to get the message that the church needs, you'll have to get it. Come on. That's the peace of Jesus. Amen. 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 And if we're going to make it, church, we're going to make it by spending time at his feet. Amen. Right. We're going to make it by spending time at his feet. But our testimony is just important. Yeah. Come on. It's in just one of Yes, sir. And we need to be giving it more. Amen. Amen. There are people who need to hear yes, sir. what God has done for you. Right. Amen. Yeah. Some of us in here, he had to work harder on. Because yeah. 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 I think Brother Billy grew up. Yeah. Been, they have been together. Yeah. I think he was five years old when we got together or something like that. I never think it be nothing out of Brother Billy. Oh. And Bill was pretty rowdy. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. I did a little more. Amen. But you know what? I wasn't no more lost than he was. Come on. Amen. That's I wasn't a bit more lost than he was. Come on. Because he didn't have Jesus and I didn't have him either. Come on. Amen. Well, I think he needed to get saved five years ago. But anyway, amen. Even though that he was a good old boy, yeah. there could be a lot of good old boys in hell. Yes, sir. It's not good enough. Amen. But there ain't nothing that we can do that's good enough. Amen. Yeah. Our righteousness are filthy rags. Come on. Right. Amen. True. But it's the blood of Jesus. It's the blood of Jesus that makes us righteous. Oh, Amen. Oh, it's the blood of Jesus man. that cleanses us. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. So we need to spend more time All right. at His feet. Seeking His will, Brother oh, David. Oh, Not our will, but uh, His will. Amen. Right. That's what I told him about out there at our church. You know, I've, I've been there for almost two years and it don't seem like it's growing a whole lot. You know, spiritually it's growing some, but people-wise, it's not growing up, man. But it ain't in my timing. Right. See, we, we, Brother Bill, we want everything Instant. right now. Yeah. Yeah. We want everything right now. Yes. It ain't in our timing. Yes. It's in God's timing. Yes. Yes. I mean, I told him, I tell you one thing, I said, I told, I told the church, and I tell you one thing, I will not compromise his word to build a crowd. Yeah. All right. Amen. That's if you have to get a crowd that way, you'll have to get another pastor. Yeah. But right. I cannot compromise his word, amen. I'm going to preach the truth because I think he's the same yesterday, today, and forever. Yes. I don't think Amen. his word changed. I think if homosexual was abomination back then, it's still abomination today. Yeah. Whatever he said is sin, and it's sin, and it's still sin today. Amen. Oh. He has not changed his mind, son. Right. Amen. There's still a heaven to gain and a hell to shun. Yeah. And the only way we're going to make it, honey, is to line up with his word. Right, Amen. Dale. As best we can. We all, ain't none of us in here perfect. No. No, that's right. We all make mistakes. Amen. But when you make a mistake, Brother Billy, what would they do? Yeah. Spend a little time in faith. Yes. Yes. Amen. Say, Lord, forgive, forgive me. me. It's me again, Lord. Oh, oh, I have to go a lot, Brother David. Oh, it's me again, Lord. Lord, if I've done anything today, 
Forgive me, Lord. I don't, I don't want to lay my head down tonight without saying that. Lord, have I done anything? Come on, Forgive me, Lord. I, I want to make it, Brother David. Yeah. Amen. I've not come too far. I'm, we're getting close to home. Amen. Amen. This day ain't about over. Amen. Yeah. That's the reason the devil fighting with everything he's got. Right. Amen. That's the reason most of the church world don't want Jesus in them. The churches, the, the schools, and the government. Don't nobody want Jesus right. in it. Honey, there ain't going to be. Heaven ain't going to be that crowd. Right. Come on. Many are called, but few are going to be chosen. Amen. Amen. That's what he said. Straight is the way. Narrow the path. The few that were there are found. Amen. Amen. Hell is what's going to be crowded. All right. That's what's going to be crowded. Mm. I've got a deacon out there in my church, and he was bad about this. And he still does it every now and then. I never told him a couple times about it. But he'll get up and he'll say, Well, God's got who he wants to. I deny him. His word says, His will, the nudge of Amen. Yeah. And there's probably people that God to deal with them to come to that church and they ain't been there. Yeah. He ain't got who he wants. That's right. He wants us all. Amen. He wants us all. Right. He loves us so much, Brother David, that he died for him. True. Amen. He, yet while I was a sinner, he died yeah. for me. Right. There's nothing I can do to make him love me anymore. Amen. Right. Nothing, Brother Billy, that I can do to make Jesus love me anymore. Amen. And there's nothing I can do to make him love me any less. That's right. I can turn my back on him tonight and, and, and die and end up in hell. If I did, I'd go to hell with Jesus loving me. Amen. He's going to love us, Brother David, no matter what. He loves me in spite of Bill. Amen. Amen. Right. Hallelujah. But we need to spend some time at his feet. Yes, seeking his will yes. in our life. Yes. Whatever it may be. Not our will, but God's will. Amen. Let his will be done. Yes. The church will be blessed. Yes. I promise yeah. you. We're going to make it. That's sure. what the Lord gave me. Give the Lord an for his word tonight. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord.